Well, the Sabres wrap up a four game West Coast trip tonight with their first ever game against the Seattle Kraken. Yes, the Kraken, and it's a game with a very special meaning for coach Don Granado because his sister happens to work for the other side. Julianne Pelusi sat down with him and found out that it's hardly the first scuffle they've gone through. Tonight, the Buffalo Sabres finish up a four game road trip with a family affair. Head coach Don Granado will take on the NHL's newest team, the Seattle Kraken, where his sister Cami is a scout. But it's not the first or the last scuffle the Granados will experience. It was chaos because there were six of us. Um, a lot of chaos and lots and lots of chaos. Six kids in a passionate Italian household sometimes leads to dropping the gloves, as Cami Granado remembers. She, she said, do you remember you and Tony? I don't know what they were fighting about. They're wrestling, and then my mom's like trying to get the door shut. Fighting and rolling down the stairs as you were punching each other. And sure enough, like boys go flying, like rolling down the entire staircase. I, said, I don't really remember that. The culprits? Don, the head coach of the Buffalo Sabres, and Tony leading the Wisconsin Badgers. But younger sister Cami has something her brothers don't. A gold medal. The Granado party of eight gets a big assist in shaping her Hall of Fame hockey career. I feel incredibly lucky to have grown up the way I did. We were a team. Um, we were really close. We were each other's playmates. Um, we were each other's advocates, um, support system. We pushed each other. Um, we didn't know we were doing all that, but looking back, that's what it was. Don and Natalie Granado carefully constructing a moral code, leading by example. They just, there was more of a sense and a great compass rather than a map. It's not like I remember them like saying a set of rules, but I do remember like, you know, it was always like about treating other people with respect and communicating. The code and the chaos became the foundation for a coach. He was a coach before he even knew he was a coach. He was coaching us when he was 10 years old. He just had it in him to like be that guy for the family who just had the right thing to say or the best perspective on things. And I think the way he coaches, he's He's got like an emotional intelligence that's like crazy. That emotional intelligence blossoming from a big brother who could push him around. I had an older brother, as you mentioned, that played in the NHL for a long time. Very successful, very talented athlete uh, and great brother. But I didn't know he actually cared about me till, till I was about 16. I, I, I hated him and he hated me, it seemed, especially playing hockey. I wanted to play hockey in the worst way. But there was always somebody better than me every time we played, and older than me, and bigger than me, and stronger than me. So I had to make a choice. If I want to play this, and we're playing in the basement or the backyard, I got to figure out a way to combat this. When Don and Tony put the gloves back on, the relationship blossomed too. I can remember telling my brother, you got to go home to your family. Tony and the rest of the Granados dropped everything to be there for Don while he battled two life-threatening health scares. He beats all odds and everything, even when he, he's like the underdog. Cami has that same confidence seeing her brother become an NHL head coach. Of course, as a sister, you want him to do so well, but his take on everything is so positive that you're like, okay, he's gonna be good no matter what. Like, he's just gonna do his best. But does Cami want Don to be his best against the Kraken? He said also, he won't dare to ask you who you're rooting for. I don't have an answer. That's, you know, I mean, I, I, it's any answer I give is not going to be the right one on one or the other side. So I'm just going to say, like, we'll leave it at that. And that's the Granados. Be the best you can be for each other, root for each other. But that competitive nature never dies. Julianne Pelusi, Channel 2 Sports. What a great report, Julianne. Thank Loved you. Loved hearing that story. Yeah. That explains a lot, doesn't it, about his coaching style and the way he approaches his players. I mean, I grew up with a mm -hmm. family of five. Mm -hmm. You know, I had four siblings, and it really does help develop character and a lot of insight on how to get along with others. And the word on the street is that the players are really responding to him, his communication and just his demeanor and the way he is Absolutely. as a leader. Absolutely, yeah. So great report. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Julianne.